God damn it. So, James Kenny, first of all, I want us to all look around the room at each other because if you are here and if you are in this space right now, you are blessed. He is here. And knowing James Kenny was a blessing, and he was a one of a kind, and he brought everyone in. He was the one that called everybody into this room. And when I think about life, and I think about the best things in life, one of the top 10 memories of my life is turning 27 on the stage of the Slipper Room, and James Kenny, right after midnight, did a, he did Sweet Caroline, of course, <laughs> and as he does, and then he did an acapella of Fool's Russian. And I will never forget the moment that happened, that there was maybe 25 people in the original Slipper Room, um, and he just started singing it, and every single person in the room started singing it with him. And it was a moment that you read about, and you see in movies, and James could make that kind of moment happen. He had that magic that's rare, that New York moment magic. When you make people from all different places and all different backgrounds come together and sing a song. And it didn't matter if we sang badly or, or what was going on. We were all singing at the top of our lungs. And I remember the first time I ever did Sweet Caroline. Because the thing is, so I started, I was doing burlesque. And you know, burlesque, you're coming up with a number by yourself. So you're up here by yourself taking your clothes off. It's kind of, you know, you're like, what, what am I going to do? And, you know, James will let you do fucking anything. So <laughs> you, can, you can do anything you want. There's, like, no boundaries. You just, like, get up here and do your thing. So, so it was, like, one of my first nights. And then I was about to get off the stage. And James comes up, and he's got the Uncle Earl costume on. And I'm like, what is happening? I don't know what's going on. And he's like, he's like, Look it, come on, come on, get back on the stage. And I'm just like, what, what's happening? What do I do now? And he's like, get behind the curtain. And I was like, get behind the curtain. And he's like, just hide behind the curtain. Everybody's hiding behind the curtain. Get just, just stick your hand out when I say a hand. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> and I remember that even though I had performed at the Slipper Room before, I just hadn't been there when the Sweet Caroline thing was happening. And I think that that was the first time that I felt like I actually belonged. Like I was part of the family. Because I remember being behind that curtain and sticking my hand out. And I remember seeing Baby Gal Friday, <laughs> Joe Weldon, and Tigger. And I was like, oh my god, we're doing it together. We're doing this together. We're sticking our hands out. And then we're like running out and dancing. And the whole audience is singing. And they're so excited because no matter what is going on in their lives, no matter if they have this like boring existence or they hate their life someplace else, they were transported by this magical moment that James created for all of us. And that's what I love. blessed thing ever and I feel like you know when everything happened I was telling James I was like you know what we have such incredible lives here that it's like we live like 10 lives in one beautiful massive thing right here so I just feel so blessed to have known James and I'm so blessed to be around every single one of you right now because the people that loved him are really holding us up and all together and we'll continue his magic.
for bringing people together. Thank you, James. <laughs>